Today on Always Hungry, will cost you in the area of $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this bad boy. <laughs> Fuck yeah. See, I'm oh it. shit. How many, how many balls have you been? Because oh wow. Drunk. My god. We're breaking down a 250 pound bluefin tuna with my buddy Antonio Park. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, chef. That's my first time breaking down a tuna. Not gonna lie. Yeah. I have no clue what to do. So let me know what the first steps are. Yes. So we use, this is a. Uh, Bluefin tuna coming from Mexico. They have the biggest, largest uh, sustainable right? aquaculture in Mexico right now with the sustainability in bluefin tuna. The best quality. I mean, this quality. Now, question for you. Yeah. How much will a fish like this cost? Will cost you in the area of $10,000. But if you know how to work with it together, it's worth it. And just like in reference, like this is a 250 pounds tuna, but yeah. it can go as high as a six thousand. A thousand, like a. So more you go on the northern side of, you know, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland and the all that. The bigger they get? They get big. So th this one's like a farm, right? Right. So this is aquaculture. Aquaculture. It's farmed in the sea. So we go? Yeah, let's we'll do, it. do it. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, first step will be just cut the neck. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll remove this. Pick this, is this can you use this? Yeah, we normally eat this part a little bit. Yeah. See the bone there? Yeah. So just go here. You need a little hammer, ledge hammer or something like that just to crack the bone. There you go. And once you clip that, you, you cut the bone. Yeah. Well, now it's easier to just go around it. Go around it. No more bones. Give you a good all weed mask, no? Yeah. <laughs> so, Antonio. Yeah. I think what would be cool is we could maybe roast the head of the tuna like whole. That's crazy. But yeah. We, we, we should do that. I've seen this in a video once. It's pretty cool. I actually love that. It's like kind of like put it like on the tray like this, like face up. Let's put it on the tray. Should do Move. a bit of like a olive oil and some some salt on there, or just yeah, like we yeah. And then here it's pretty simple. The line you see, you see the middle cut. We go halfway. Go halfway, and there then we go. go the other way. I'll start from here. Yeah. And go like that. On top of the bone, obviously, you don't have waste. So you get you get like four fillet of, out of the tuna, right? Four fillet. Yeah. And then you cut the middle. Right. You see, you feel the bone, right? The bottom. There you go. That's Easy. Cool. That's it. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Does that work out? There you go. That's yeah. Perfect. There you go. Perfect. perfect. There you go. Okay. And that's the other tuna. That's Beautiful. the whole side. You see the fatty side here? Oh yeah. Tuna. It's fucking good. <laughs> Look at this. That's how much oil is on there? Facial oil. Facial oil. Let's go. There you go. Whew. One more. The, the way that we normally do is when, after the cutting the tuna, yeah. we'll scrape everything like this. If you see it, see I'm oh, scraping shit. it? Oh shit, that's fucking... We scrape it, everything like this yeah. so there's no waste. Oh you my god, it, just scoop but, it but, like but that. Scoop it like that, be careful of the... And then you oh put a little... God. Oh yes. So this was in there. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so this guy's gonna go in the oven. We'll do a simple uh, olive oil on there. All over the, there you go. <laughs> little bath, pepper. Try out the salt there. Yeah. Salt. And then we'll do a little massage to this guy. There yeah. you go. There you go. A little head massage. Is it gonna fit? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Fit. yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. oh. oh perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we get to the, the fun part, the, the raw part. stuff, guys. So we call, yeah. we call this the upper loin, right? This is the akami side, the top side. Top okay, loin. yeah. And then we call it this the top loin because there's that's the bottom line where the bottom side where there's the toro and everything. So we're, we're cutting it into saku. Saku. Right so so saku like just that. means saku just means loins, right? Okay, cool. There's yeah. chutoro, akami. There's also both parts. Oh, yeah. You yeah. see the bloodline? Yeah. And then I'll just remove it slowly. Don't try to remove it everything at the same time. And then you take out this. This you can you can roll you can, it up and you can do a shakuri. Oh, like kind of like you the. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is the part where I I, I start separating, right? Right. So we have the akami side. This is the akami. Beautiful. Which is the red side of the tuna. Uh, we use for tar tartar. Tartar, okay, tataki, yeah. Tataki. Okay. Even a steak will work. Well, not steak, not, steak not steak sashimi around. with this, right? Yeah, we can use sashimi okay, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, with sashimi too. You see, that's chutoro right here already. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, and there's another line here that goes around it. Yeah. That's the sinew of the tuna that you cannot really chew on it, right? Right. Because it's so very fishy. Kind of like cut so around it. So you see it? what I do? I yeah. Go, I, I go in there. Right above the line. And I boop. Okay, yeah. See what yeah, I did? Yeah. And then I go straight from there. And that wow. that that from here, I put it into this angle. Yeah. And that's akami. And then that's saku. Now oh, I'm going to Oh, okay. Saku. So that's all saku right there. That's fucking beautiful. So this is like always like the most expensive part, like the, the, the toro, right? Yeah, but this, this part, the funny thing is this part, is recently expensive because back in the days Japanese cuisine we used to use this part. Yeah. But the Western cuisine never used that part. Oh right. The in the garbage. Kept the secret for. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. You can eat toro from bluefin, maybe from big eye tuna. Yeah. But never from yellowfin tuna. Because there's not enough fat. There's not enough fat. Yeah. yeah. So this is chutoro, chutoro, 
and then now we're getting into just toro. Just toro, okay. This is toro. Two toro? Yeah. Toro, o toro. There you have it, guys. The best part. Let's get to the fun stuff, the raw stuff. The raw stuff. What are we gonna make with this? We're gonna make four different types of nigiri, and then we're gonna torch the fattiest one in there. So I'm just gonna kind of like cut this end of the wasabi here. Don't waste anything, this thing is expensive. Yeah, the great. And just go like in a circular motion. And also yeah. just so people kind of have a reference, a root of uh, what's to be this big, probably I like go for around $100, 100 bucks just $100, for this. 50 bucks. And the tube, a tube of like wasabi would probably like be like uh, five bucks. And what is in the fake wasabi? Uh, it's horseradish. Oh, wait, like green and green color. Sure. What are the odds of like me able to be shaping a ball, a nigiri ball of rice? First? You can try it. Come on, let's do it. Okay. So right. show me the, the, yeah. the motion. Wet your hands already before. Yeah. You have to wet to a certain level, right? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> see what? You see the movement that I'm doing? Yeah. Look, doesn't matter how many times I do, it's always gonna be oh, the same perfect size. little shape. Yeah. Because my hands are controlling yeah. the balls. Been, it's how many, not my how many eyes. balls have you been? How many balls? A lot of, a lot of balls. balls. <laughs> a lot of balls. <laughs> balls for days. Yeah, so that's what it is. And then after this, you can just put the wasabi. Oh my god. And then god. you can just do this and press it aside too. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Like, you see what I told you about? So the is there like a proper way to do? Is like yeah. uh, any any? I guess there's no proper way to do it. This, like, no, the uh, proper way of doing it. Is that, the that was okay. Yeah, it, but this, if this, you're doing it at home, yeah, that's probably that's another easier way okay, to do yeah. it. And you can just put it like that. You can put it like that. Okay. We got seaweed here. I'm gonna cut the seaweed. I want you to. You wanna cut this? Yeah. Like this. Yeah. yeah. There good, you go. Good, 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 good. Hey. Good. That works. And then you. I want you to take this. Yeah. Shizo. That's sexy. Oh, yes. But on top of it, if yeah. you don't have a sharp knife, don't game, cut it. It's game over. Because oh, if, you wow. don't, if you don't cut a, if you got, yeah. the fat in there. It's gonna be tender yeah. as hell. So we're gonna go like that. And we're just gonna go. What's this? Ginger sauce together with uh, oils. So we do this and, and then this. And it gives like the do okay. uh, so just, just this around the fish, right? Yeah. Not on it. There you go. More? Okay. That's it. That's good. Okay. That's looking amazing. You take that. That's fatty. You see the fatty? Ooh, oh, yeah. Look at the fat. Look at the fat. Look at the fat. Oh, look yeah. Fat. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. My God. So here you go, guys. Uh, first of all, Antonio, thanks for having us today. Thank you in very beautiful much for restaurant, being here. Park Resto in Montreal, in Westmount. Try it, it's the best. Now I know to break down the tuna, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, if you like that video, make sure to go subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a like, all that stuff. And we'll see you on the next episode of Always Hungry. Peace. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is so good. Mine's a little rust, it'd be better here. Yeah.